has a problem. Similar to Everest, there are a record-breaking number of climbers trying to summit the peak, causing traffic jams and overcrowding. Matthew Eakin and Richard Cartier were part of a six-man team who were planning to summit the Savage Mountain, just like the hundreds of other climbers on the peak at the same time. After reaching Camp 4 at 7,600 meters in mid-July, Matt would leave the group headed for the summit, while Richard would start the descent. Tragically, Richard would slip and fall, losing his life on the steep slopes between Camp 1 and 2. Matt would stand on the top of K2 alone on July 23rd, following a record-breaking day where over 100 climbers summited the mountain. But during the descent, Matt would also slip and unfortunately pass away on the steep slopes. Two days later, both Matt and Richard's bodies would be found, but after a recovery team would be put together, an avalanche would bury Matt, making it impossible to retrieve his body.